World Wool Polo Entertainment Group. What's up with it? I just want to chime in real quick. I got a couple of points that I uh, would like to make. Um, first point is that this country was built on the blood, sweat, and tears of black people for hundreds of years, meaning more than 100, plural, for free. We have also, after building this country, came up with very good ideas to keep the country going without getting any anything from it. No credit, no no financial backing, anything for building this country and keeping it going and being the labor to that 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 keeps this country going. I said all that to say that if any group of people who had any right at all to destroy this joint, to bring it down, to burn it, it would be black people. And I'm not saying to go out and destroy and burn and bring it down. I'm just saying clearly that any group of people who had the right, who could have the right to do it, it would be black people. The second part of that is we live in a time where a lot of black people have black owned businesses and we intertwine with white corporations. So there could be a white corporation and a black business and a, another black business and a white business and a black business. All on the same, all on the same, like in the same area. So we have to be intelligent and when we looting and when we burning to not destroy our stuff. We have to be clear minded in that. And anybody that you see, uh, you know, especially that don't look like us trying to destroy something that come from somebody who look like us, then it's also our job to check that and put it in its proper perspective. Um, the second point I want to bring is about this coronavirus, right? We living in a time where they talked about the war of terror. The, the word terror means to fear, to install fear. So we're living in a, in, a, in, a, in a war zone where a group of people is trying to install fear in another group of people. So the war on terror is not just something we should look at from, oh, we live in this beautiful country and it's that country who is trying to destroy this country, but it's also people with inside this country who want, who's not trying to relinquish power or any type of authority who are also willing to destroy this country that they didn't even help build. They are trying to install fear, the war on fear, the war on fear, the war on fear. Do not let these people scare you to the point where you just do anything and say anything and just believe anything that they say. And I just said that to say that they have been talking about this coronavirus for a nice couple of months now. And I'm not saying that it's not real. Uh, I'm not going to do that because I know personally a couple people who have got the coronavirus and it's a hum that they lot that they recover. So I'm not going to say it's not real, but I think somewhat that is being amplified and amped up a little bit probably more at this point in time, not at all points, but now than probably with it, it, it was at first. Because during this protest, it's been thousands and thousands and thousands of people who ain't been keeping no social distance. They, they actually, I didn't see videos where people locked in at the arms and, and, and you know, touching each other. It's, it hasn't been six feet of distance, right? And every major city, in every major city, people are protesting and they're burning and they're sticking together and it's Caucasians and it's, and it's, and it's, and it's black people. 
and, and they all in the same vicinity and they're going to all go back to their respective quarters. Uh, and I think what I guess I'm trying to say in the next two weeks, because they, you know, they always talk about it's a two week process with this virus that if it don't spike in astronomical numbers, then leave me alone with the coronavirus. And when I say spike, I ain't talking about, oh, 10,000 in this country, 10,000, I mean, 10,000 in this uh, uh, county or state, and 10,000 in this county or state. I'm talking about, like, in their every state, like, two and 300,000 more cases of, like, which would be millions and millions and millions, more than one and more than two, more than three million people in the United States that then got it, right? If it don't, if them numbers don't add up, just based on the, 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 the little common sense that, you know, that I'm trying to give to this based on listening to what they say, how it works and how it spreads and, and things of that nature, how they're coming up with the things that they're telling us. It just don't seem logical to me that we could go out and protest and do all these things under the, the uh, we supposed to still be, you know, on curfew mildly and we and all outside ain't even really opened up yet. I guess it's open now, but it ain't even like all opened up yet. So if it don't just do something weird, then kind of leave me alone with that. I, we are living in a time where a lot of people call it the end. And for a lot of different reasons, they call it that. And just talking about this year, 2020, the, you know, when you talk about vision, 2020 vision is clear. So maybe that's a sign from God that it's going to be clear signs on, 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 in this year. Because every month of this year, it's been something brand new to install another level of fear in this society and this corrupt society um from january to now it's, it's been something i on a personal level think that maybe they're gonna stop talking about the coronavirus soon because i mean it's kind of hard to contain it, that that thought or that 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 level of control with telling that story to us um based on all the protesting that's going on, if, if the numbers don't add up, it's gonna be hard to make it make sense. But I can say, and I will say, that they, even if we don't talk about the killer bees, the, you know, the little bee things, the, the bumblebees, the big bees, or all these things that's, you know, they, they, they using to try to install fear, trust me, they have something new in store for us. To, to shut us down and to try to control us from the level of fear. And if all else fails, I'm almost willing to bet, if I was a gambling man, that Donald Trump is gonna be president again. Because I don't think he's done messing this world up. And he's already proven, it's already been proven with the, with the, with the Bush, that they, they could rob us for the, for the presidency. And even with Donald Trump, he didn't even win the majority vote. And I ain't never voted, but I pay attention to things like that, you know what I mean? And I ain't saying don't go vote. I just ain't never seen nobody worth voting for, right? Um, he lost the majority votes by 100, 100 200,000 votes. So do I vote really be counting? Do I vote really count? If, if majority of us say we don't want him and he can still come in the office and do what he wants, that tells me that we don't know enough about this system that we think we know and we listening to them a little bit much than we think we probably should. And he'll hijack this, the, uh, the presidency again. So Donald Trump is not done with us, right? He's not done messing this country up, so don't, don't invest in that. World War Polo Entertainment Group, man. That's my thought of the day, man. Um, y'all be safe out there and stay safe. And um, and man, may Allah be just with us, man. Cause we really need them. World War Polo Entertainment Group, we out here.